Please. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chair, and virtually an empty table. Um, I, I don't want to be repetitious and repeat what my colleagues have said before me. I would just say uh, I'm Scott Tuhamel, Secretary Treasurer of the Rhode Island Building and Construction Trades. We represent 9,000 approximately so construction workers in Rhode Island. We are vehemently opposed to this bill with a caveat. I would say the PUC um, expansion, you know, great idea, sounds democratic, could be done, but in the manner it's being talked about here, it's a direct um, blow to stop this process. And as Mike Ryan said quite eloquently, if you're going to do that, you do it down the line and you do not interrupt the processes that are already there. Let me tell you, we do this every day. We have developers, we have people come to the state, we talk to them. Our reputation is near mud and maybe less than mud. Maybe it's quicksand. Our state is not welcoming to people who want to come in and build and develop. This is, no matter what anybody wants, the flowery language or such, this is to kill the project, cool. But this is a president-setting bill. And if you do it in Boroughville, it's going to be done in Cranston, it's going to be done in Smithfield, it's going to be done in Westerly, and there's no way around it. We already have a terrible reputation. We already see so many of our projects go to Connecticut and Massachusetts, and believe me, we know it. Our members work in those adjoining states. We watch it every day. We're finally making a comeback here, and here we go again. Stop. Don't come to Rhode Island. Please don't build here. Do we care about the construction workers? It's all about Barville in this case. Well, it could be all about Cranston tomorrow. In my mind, a bill like this, we wouldn't have Torre. We wouldn't have Amgem. We wouldn't have, Michael said, as the airport expansion. We wouldn't have the Providence Mall because there will always be residents and constituents who don't want it in their backyard. I call this the NIMBY bill. Everybody says it's not NIMBYism. It's the ultimate NIMBY bill. In Rhode Island, any project that is done of size and scale, we have Rhode Islanders work at. From that city, from the adjoining city, from the state. We have been in trouble for the last seven years. We have lost membership. We have people working in other states. The construction world needs to be reignited. This is going to throw a wet blanket, one more wet blanket, let me say, despite the efforts of the State House, the Governor, many others. Another wet blanket. Don't come to Rhode Island because you know what you're going to deal with here. Small mindedness, nimbyism, and please don't put it in my backyard because I don't really care if anybody goes to work there. Thank you. Uh, any questions for, for Mr. Duhamel? Thank you very much, Scott. 